Following the release of the previous video where we talked about creating embossed X features on a sphere, I got a very interesting suggestion from Normaker on how to improve upon the method. For the inside faces of the letters, Normaker suggests using the press pull command to pull on the faces of the letters until they intersect with the spherical face. For the outside faces of the letters, we can actually use the offset face to split the bodies of the letters. Overall, this is a much simpler and faster workflow compared to the use of the replace face command. Again, I want to thank Normaker for this suggestion. Let's proceed to demonstrate this in the next few minutes. Do stay tuned after that as I have also prepared something extra that builds upon this new workflow. We will begin from the point after we have removed the cylinder and isolated the letters. For viewers who have not seen the previous video, I will post a link on the top right hand corner. From this point on, instead of using replace face, let's go to modify, press pull. You can also choose to use the offset face command instead. Both commands will give you the same result in this case. Begin selecting the inside faces of the letters. In contrast to the replace face command, we can select multiple faces here. Adjust the offset until the letters completely intersect with the sphere. We want to make sure that every single edge of this offset is completely consumed by the sphere. Next, activate the Surface tab. Go to Create, Offset, and create an offset surface from the existing spherical face. This is the same as what we did in the previous video. Let's give this offset face a different color. Next, go to Modify, Split Body. Select the letters as the bodies to split. You can select multiple bodies here. For splitting tool, click on the select box and select the offset face. Once you confirm and hide the offset face, you can see that the letters have been split accordingly. We can either delete or hide the unwanted bodies. At this point, this looks exactly like the final product of the original video. But we are not quite there yet. The letters are still separate bodies. And if we adjust the opacity of the sphere, we can see that the letters actually have overlapping volumes within the sphere. Activate the solid tab. Go to modify, combine. Select the sphere and the letters and combine them into one single solid. Any overlapping volumes are automatically merged by the combine command. Here's something extra that I had promised earlier in the video. What if you want to do debossed text features instead? Let's rewind back to the point after the press pull was done. We can actually use these letters as cutting tools to create split faces on a sphere. Go to Modify, Split Face. Select the spherical face as a face to split. For splitting tool, click on the select box. We need to select the bodies of the letters. If we hover the cursor over the faces, you will see the faces being highlighted. If we hover the cursor over an edge, the whole body gets highlighted. This is when you can left click and select the whole body. Select all the letters in the same fashion. Confirm and hide the letters. You can see split faces in the shape of the letters. Next, go to Modify, Press Pool. Select the split faces and adjust the distance to create the debossed text features.
If we take a closer look at the recess, the bottom surface is a concentric offset from the original surface. Let's perform a sketch on the top plane and click on the Slice option. Draw a circle from the center. As the circle gets progressively larger, it matches both the bottom of the recess and the original spherical face. This proves that the surfaces are concentric with each other.